is it drizzling? I'm not a fan of the rain. But it is necessary. Ugh, I need to pick my style. I keep saying that and still I'm not doing it. nail salon I'm super happy with my nails I'm gonna show you guys in a second but here they are I'm back to looking like a baddie so um got my lashes done got my nails right and now I just need to get a pedicure. But it's so rainy and gloomy today. I'm just like, ugh. I think I'm just gonna, I kinda wanna go pick up some breakfast. Um, mm, or I could go home and make a smoothie. Mm. Let me see how far Whole Foods is from where I am right now. And depending on how far it is, I'll go to Whole Foods and pick up a few items because I am out of like breakfast items. Um, and then, yeah, I think I'll go see what's what's going on with Whole Foods. But if it's too far, I'm just gonna go home and call it a day and I'll go to Whole Foods like sometime during the week because y'all, I'm feeling sleepy. But I am supposed to link up with my cousin later today too. So I, I do have to, I will end up leaving the house again. But um, anywho, let me make a decision. But I'm super happy that I've got my nail situation down pat. Um, and my, my nail tech, clearly she the bomb .com. She gets booked up really quickly. So... I, once I get home, I have this uh, habit of after I, I get my appointment in, I go home and I book my next appointment, like literally a month in advance. I actually go like every three, every three weeks. So um, I'm going to book that appointment ASAP because Shorty got her own spot now. Okay. So um, I'm super excited for her. It looks so nice. I, I'm like, I can't wait to go she's not at her new spot now um i think this is like her last couple of days um today is saturday but as of tuesday this coming tuesday she'll be in her new spot so i gotta get her something i think i want to get her just like a starbucks gift card because she's really she loves coffee and um because she's colombian you know them colombians got some of the best coffee um I'm gonna get her a Starbucks card and I'll also probably get her like a little cute cupcake or cake um, that says congratulations. So anyway, I have three weeks to think about it, but I wanna present it to her when she's like in her new spot. So, you know, just a little, just a little something. That'll be, that'll be nice. And it'll make her super happy as well and feel appreciated. That's important. But anyway, about to get on the road. I'm starving, I need to eat something and I need to get back home. So I am back home and I got my Chick-fil-A. Y'all, I am starving. Starving ain't the word. It, what time is it? It is 1210. I have a, um, I need to hop on the phone around like one o'clock. Let me show y'all real quick what I got. I'll probably take like, I know they did not. Um, I thought I saw cheese on my stuff. I was about to get real upset real quick. So, I ordered the Southwest salad with chicken strips. 
It looks so good. My sister is the one who told me the trick about um, asking for chicken strips instead of their regular chicken that they use on the salad. And I got creamy salsa. This is my first time trying this. I'm gonna taste a little bit and see if it has like a smoky taste, which I'm not a fan of. If it does, the the herb ranch, garden herb ranch. We got our toppings, chili lime pepitas, the tortilla strips. I'm just gonna drink some water with the salad. I don't think I'll, I won't be able to eat this whole thing. I'll just eat half of that, drink some water, and don't judge me. I do have a chocolate chip chunky cookie, and who gonna test me about it? Who gonna say nothing about it? Nobody, so. I will be enjoying that. Um, so yeah, let me grub real quick, and then I am going to powwow with my cousins later. Um, I have family visiting from Florida. So um, I'm just going to stop by and say hello to La Familia. And yeah, that'll be my Saturday. Mm, this looks just so healthy. I'm about to dig in. Hey guys, I am back home. And I picked up, well not picked up, I have two packages um, that I am excited to unbox with you guys. Sorry, just getting myself situated. The first one is, you guessed it, Brooklyn. I love this company. Honestly, this is like, I don't want to say my first quality sheets, but my first quality sheets. <laughs> um, honestly, with this company, this is the most that I that I have spent on bed sheets. I've ordered bed sheets from them, towels, um, a duvet, and a weighted blanket. I don't know if the weighted blanket is in the shop, but it's right next to me. But I'll be honest, like, their items, it's worth it. It's worth the cost. And they recently had a sale. I don't know if it was like, um, if it was like, it wasn't like an end of the season sale, but basically it was like a last cost type of sale. And um, I'm like in this mode of, you know, transitioning a lot of my clothing um, as well as my home items. So like old towels, throwing them out, um, old t-shirts, old sneakers, old shoes, sandals, throwing them out. Um, clothing I no longer wear, like dresses and stuff like that. They're all being thrown out. Some are being donated because it's, it's not that it's, um, it's not like, worn completely worn out it's still nice it's still good but it may no longer be my style so part of that purging process that i'm going through includes my home items and i recently like maybe like a month ago i ordered um three sheet sets i ordered the core sheet set two of them i ordered like four towels, um, what else did I order from them? I ordered a, a duvet, I, and I ordered another sheet set, core sheet set, um, and I, I ordered quite a few things from Brooklyn. Needless to say, I like their items. <laughs> and here's yet another, what does that say? Hopefully y'all can see it. Another classic core sheet set. See that? But this time, instead of a solid color, I selected a pattern. It's giving fall vibes. So I was like, you know what, why not? I'm in need of a new sheet set. I mean, not in need, but I would like to stock up on some new sheets. <laughs> Cause I wanna go out with the old and with the new. 
And let me show you guys this pattern. I think it's very cute. It's giving me like Aztec vibes with the clay colors. I really like it. It's like fall, but not too fall. So let me show you guys a close up. It's super cute. So this is gonna be added to the addition. And in the core sheet set, what do we get? We get one flatted sheet, flatted, what am I talking about? <laughs> one flat sheet, one fitted sheet, two pillowcases. And it's all I need. So there's that. And of course we, what? We wash before we use new items. Yes, we do not take it off the package and put it on our bed and then lay on it. It's a, that's a no-no. Another package that I got, the name is not on here, but um, I can't flip it on the other side because it has my address on there. But this is Pat McGrath. Now, don't ask me, do I need makeup? We're not talking about that. Who's talking about need? Now, did I want some new lipsticks? The answer is yes. Yes, I did. Woo, this was a workout. <sighs> okay, let's see what this is about. Now, I didn't go crazy. I just ordered um, four lipsticks and uh oh this is cute they included a sample of their essence they have like the skincare rose essence that's cute i'm gonna try it out um so here are the four lipsticks right here and um i'll bring you guys in closer so you can really see that uno momento okay you guys are a little closer now Guys are a little closer now so let's take a look at these lipsticks um let me show you guys really quickly the where is it oh here it is the uh sample they gave me so pat mcgrath came out with like a skincare item and i remember seeing like you know the trailer for it and things like that but i you know my holy grail item or product line is Drunk Elephant. My skin loves that stuff. Like, I love it. But, okay, so here's the sample. It's a cute little bottle, right? And it looks very nice, like a milky rose situation. This is cute. Now, how do we use this? Hmm. Let's see, directions. Shake to mix, then sprinkle into palms or a cotton pad and massage into the face and neck. Follow up with skincare routine. Okay, so you wear this right after washing your face. This is called the Rose 001, The Essence. That's cute. I'm gonna try it out and see how I like it. And uh, I'll let y'all keep you guys posted. If you're interested, let me know. So let's look at this first color that I got, which is the packaging is, they had a, a Bridgerton line. So basically a line of lipsticks um, inspired by the show Bridgerton, the show I never watched. So I'm not a huge TV person. Does that make me weird? Anyway, I never watched it. <laughs> so this color is called this is the Satin Allure, and it's the Veiled Rose. Interesting. So let's see. Ooh. I'm jumping the gun. Let me hurry up and show you guys the packaging. I love the packaging, and I love this color, like most of the Pat McGrath lipsticks, um, this part is all black, but this one is 
the baby blue, which I'm sure is because of Bridgerton. And this is the color. I love this color. It's super cute. It's like a blush pink. Hence the name Veiled Rose. Um, but I'm not going to swatch it or anything right now. I'm going to do a separate um, video for that. Probably over on my TikTok. So you might want to join me. Um, so yeah, so next we have... Uh, this one is called Matte Trance. So the other one was like a more of a satin finish because it's satin allure. And this line is the Matte Trance. So it will be matte. And this is in the color Elsin. Now I have a friend of mine. She's the one who was like, you got to get this color because she knows I love red lipstick. Um, and she was like, this will be very, very nice on you. So we shall see. And I didn't show you guys like how the Pat McGrath packaging is. It's super cute. When I open up the other one, I'll show you how they have it set up. But this packaging is just like very unique. And then they house the lipstick in here. Super cute, I love it. So this is the standard packaging, the all black with the lips. That's the Pat McGrath um, packaging that I am accustomed to. Oh, this is like a, like a, like a blue red with a this, but there's some pink in there too. This is this is gonna be, this is gonna be really nice. Mm hmm. I can already see what kind of. I would do like a peachy red blush with this to bring out that that pinkish, slightly pink tone in it. Hopefully the camera is picking up the color, but. This is exciting. Now, I don't usually keep the lipsticks in the box, um, but these I may, I may do so. So here is the packaging and you literally, hold on. So you literally unravel it this way until it's all open super cute and this is like giving glam is it not it makes you feel like royalty with all this glam with the packaging I, this is beautiful listen i am a sucker for packaging i'm one of those people i'm like if i don't feel plush and lush when opening up a product i don't want it like what are we doing here oh okay so this color is also matte trans, um, so the finish will be matte. And this one is called Vendetta. I think this is the dark, oh no, it's not the dark one. This one is called Vendetta. See that? I'm definitely gonna put my face together and try on these different colors for y'all. Follow me on J Ink on TikTok, comment, share. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the drill. Okay, so this one is also another matte trends. Clearly, I like matte. But I find them to be very long lasting, so okay. This one is in Deep Orchard. And look at these sexy, look, look at this, y'all. If this don't make you wanna get dressed, and turn up, I don't know what will. Like, these lips are sexy as hell in this packaging. This this screams, get out the house and turn up. And what am I doing in my sweatshirt, sitting on my couch, talking to y'all? It's okay though. <laughs> okay, so this is, ooh, I love this. I cannot wait to rock this color. I have another purple, but it's MAC and it's much deeper. It just seems like the colors with Pat McGrath have dimension. It's like, it's not like a purple color. It has purple with some pink and a slight silver in there. Like it just, it has dimension. Their colors have dimension. Not to mention their um, formula is so, oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Anywho, 
Angel. So that's what I received in the mail today. Well, not received like a girl. I definitely purchased this. But um, yeah, I'm excited about my new sheets. Um, I definitely stopped at Walmart as well, but nothing to show you guys. There's literally just some, um, some hangers and shower curtains. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these bad boys away. But yeah guys i'm gonna have to end my membership because they tried it they tried me and i can't do it anymore and i was really excited because i saw that they came out with loungewear and i'm like girl how many times are you going to be disappointed with what you get i remember my very first purchase from them was a bra and i was so excited because you know it was a nice nude color I picked out my size that I always get in multiple other lines, brands, and it was so tight and small. Like, I, I couldn't wear it. I'm canceling my membership tomorrow. And there's no offer, no discount, no whatever that can be offered to me because I'm so upset with what this crap did to my clothing. And this is no dig to Rihanna because she's obviously an intelligent woman, uh, you know, and a savvy businesswoman because I absolutely adore her makeup line. Like I have her lipsticks, I have her lip gloss, I have her con her uh, foundation, her contour stick, her concealer, like the makeup line is doing what it's supposed to do. But in terms of Savage X Fancy, like you drop the ball, like quality, not there. Customer care, not there. It's just, it's not there. The marketing is on point. I'll give you that much. The marketing and the fashion show is on point. But the clothing themselves, the lingerie and the robes, it's not giving and the quality is not there. So I have to be honest and I have to, I can't keep continue to spend my money in places that's going to constantly disappoint me. So yeah, Savage X Finny Lingerie, whatever it's called, is done, finito. Like, look at this crap. This is my, one of my tank tops that I have. Clearly I'm really into this type of shape. <laughs> I'm just realizing that, but it's like, I can't wear these anymore because even when I use the lint roller, it would not come off and I literally have to like sit down and do this to look at this. It's like stuck in, and embedded in the damn cloth. It's not coming out. Same for this. I had like imagine I put this this in like, a whole bunch of in the washing machine with a whole bunch of other clothes and this is this is the result. This is the result. Like I'm sorry this is unacceptable and i tried i tried i tried to make it work oh i didn't know my flash is on let me turn let me turn that off i'm coming back to show y'all because i'm still mad <laughs> i'm still mad about this y'all whatever yeah I'm, I'm, i won't be rocking that robe again but it's it's disappointing you guys, so I just tried um, the sample that I got from my Pat McGrath. I showed you guys a, a, a an unboxing of the Pat McGrath order. And in there, there was a sample for this um, essence called Rose 001, y'all. Now, this is my first time using it, but oh my gosh, my skin... I mean, of course, there's other products that I put on that are my holy grail. And there are some products that I use only on Sundays. It's kind of like a, um, like a, where is it? Did I put it away already? Oh, here it is. So this one is a, a proteiny resurface serum. So it's like a light exfoliant that I use. Again, I swear by um, Drunk Elephant skincare. Everyone's skin is different. Like I had to go through a lot of trial and error with a whole bunch of different products. So just because I recommend something and it works for me doesn't mean it'll work for you. But Drum Elephant, 10 out of 10, amazing. 
Anyway, but this Pat McGrath sample that they gave me, keep in mind, I ordered four lipsticks. <laughs> I wasn't even looking for skincare. But they included this Rose Essence, this like little situation right here. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. It felt so freaking good on my skin. And I know that there was like no confusion between products because right after I washed my face and lightly patted it dry, this is what I used. This was the first product that I used on my skin before anything else. And oh my, I love it. I told y'all my skin is bougie. I cannot afford another item that is going to cost me an arm and a leg and my firstborn child. Like, what is going on? It's called Pat McGrath Labs Divine Skin, and it definitely felt like divine skin. I felt like I was a queen that just woke up, washed her face, and I sprinkled some on my palm, and I was like, the smell is amazing. The, the way it felt on my skin. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm going to finish this first. One step at a time. I'm going to finish this first. I'm going to use it every Sunday. Um, before Right before I do my resurfing serum for the day. And um, I'll see how it goes. I'll see if I like, like, okay, this needs to be another staple in my life. Love it. Or is it like a, this was good. It was nice, but it don't need to be a staple. But honestly, the way I'm feeling now, it's like it's giving, you need to have this on deck and you need to use it once a week. <sighs> anyway, if you guys have tried this before, let me know and let me know your experience like long-term over time. Like, was it just as good? Because it's feeling like I need this in my life. It is 2 a.m., y'all, and I cannot go to sleep because my left shoulder is killing me, my wrist is killing me, like, <laughs> this is how you know when you're coming of age, and this is how you know the 20s done gone and left. And ain't coming back because <laughs> it has been cloudy and rain rainy um, for the past three days. And literally, so I had this conversation with my physical therapist. And because a couple of years ago, I had, I have, I've had a lot of falls. It's, it's ridiculous. Like, it's so bad that my uncle was like, you might want to get tested to see, to see if you have vertigo. I was like, I don't have vertigo. I had perfectly perfectly good explanations for my two previous falls because there was like either water or snow or ice or whatever because I was in Michigan at the time on the ground um, when I messed up my right knee on that terrible fall. But this time, there wasn't anything granted. Okay, there wasn't anything on the ground this time. But anywho, that's not the point. So my physical therapist, um, she basically said like you know a lot of people would be like oh I feel rain coming or oh my knee is hurting because the weather is bad but there's actually like a scientific reason for that and that's because the the air pressure changes which causes obviously changes it in our bodies right so that's why um certain parts of one's body can either become inflamed or you know you feel the pressure against maybe a, a part of your body that had been injured in the past and I can a thousand percent now attest that like all day yesterday and today today was the worst of it because I'm like this thing is not going away like it's like this dull pain in my shoulder like if I move it any type of way it's like very painful and then my wrist you know I, I try to massage it i put some like massage cream on it and then i put some vitamin e on the scar itself but it just feels so tight and there's like a throbbing pain in it um oh but i've improved on my fist which is great because before i couldn't i couldn't even do this 
Um, so now we're working on bending the wrist, but ugh, I just feel like I got hit by a truck and <laughs> I'm too young for this crap. Can't curse. I'm too young for this crap. Like, ugh, this is ridiculous. There's an acupuncturist that I went to um, while I was working in the city. I think I need to make an appointment with him again because after I went to hit to one session with him, my right knee did not hurt for like a good three years. Legit, I only went to one session. Um, and he told me to come for three sessions, but I only did one and then the, the pandemic hit. So, um, not my lashes coming out, child. That's another thing I can't stand about lashes. It's like, they don't last long. Let's, let's be for real. These lashes be falling out next day. Before I go on a tangent, let me go back to what I was saying. So yeah, I only did one session, but even with just that one session, it held me down for like a good two, three years, actually three years. Um, so I, uh, need to go back out there. It was this Chinese man. Um, his English wasn't good at all and it was hard for us to communicate. Um, but I did my best by like pointing and kind of like, you know, saying what my issues were, but regardless of the language barrier, like homeboy understood the assignment, like whatever he did to my knee. He placed the things where they needed to be placed. And I went through like a electrolysis, whatever thing that he did with a machine. And it hit the nerve, the exact nerve that I was feeling pain in. It was it was an incredible experience. And I, I legit, y'all, I knocked out like, like drooling knocked out on that man's table. <laughs> Because I hadn't felt relief from that pain in, in like so long. I had that pain for years. So anyway, I feel like it's starting to wear off now, which isn't a bad thing because again, it it was great for three years. Um, so I need to, now that things have, I mean, the virus isn't, hasn't gone anywhere, but it seems like we have a better handle on it and we have a better approach on how to avoid getting it or at least not being as severe from it, um, from the side effects of the virus. So I feel comfortable, you know, going into the city to have a few sessions with him. And I'm sure he's going to be like, girl, you last time you came, it was just for your knee. Now you're coming back for your knee, your left shoulder and your right wrist. Like what, what's going on? <laughs> I really need to stop being a daredevil. I need to stop doing them. I need to go sit down somewhere and stop getting injured. That's that's what I need to do. And that's what I'm going to do because I can't afford to have another fall, have another incident and mess up this body because I ain't got no kids yet. And I need to just, as Haitians say, pose it call, pose it call, al shita. That's what I need to do. I need to have a seat. That's that's what I need to do. And that's what I'm going to do. Anywho, let me put on my little raindrop uh, background white noise situation in um, on Spotify and try to go to sleep because it's 2 a.m. I have to wake up at 7 a.m. because I have an early work call that I need to prepare for. So I have an early work call. I have two early work calls that's back to back. Then I need to go to physical therapy. Then I need to run back home because I have to obviously finish my work day. So I have my schedule cut off for me tomorrow and I should be asleep by now. As uh, Haitian mothers like to say, um, I should be in my troisième sommeil, my third sleep, basically, which is like REM sleep by this time. Anywho, I'm rambling. Let me go to bed.